Hey everybody, I'm Doug Pugh with the NFHS Network. Thanks for joining us as we continue to recognize our Florida Dairy Farmers Association Academic All-State Team based on the academic and athletic accomplishments and extracurricular activities and community service. Right now we are joined on the line by a young lady from Miami Country Day School who will graduate with a 3.92 GPA named to the National Honor Society as well as the Headmasters list for all four years. She was selected first team all county as a member of the Spartan soccer team, also ran cross country, and will attend Cornell University, beautiful Ithaca, New York, in the fall and plans to study industrial and labor relations. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming Thaisa Strauss to the call. Thaisa, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations. Hi, thank you so much for having me. All righty, so outside of your success in the classroom, you have also been active in several causes. Can you tell us a little bit about the Girl Up Club? Yeah, so um, the Girl Up Club was a huge part of my high school career. Um, so Girl Up, which is a play on words of the phrase man up, um, we kind of just fought for female empowerment and women's rights and brought women's issues to light in our school community in any way that we could. Um, yeah, and it definitely helped me grow as a person and a feminist, um, and it's definitely influenced what I want to do in the future because of just the camaraderie that it kind of gave me with, we were just a group of strong, motivated individuals who were fighting for the same cause. Yeah, so we spent a lot of time like discussing national and global women's issues, um, but also kind of did what we could on the smaller scale, like raising money and going to volunteer at the local women's shelter, Lotus House, um, and producing videos for women empowerment in our local community where we asked people who their um, favorite fictional female character was or a woman in their life that inspired them. Um, and we also just held many discussions on women's issues so we could bring those to light. And as mentioned, you're going to Cornell. Why Cornell? Um, yeah, so when I was kind of doing the college search, I was looking kind of at the individual schools because I wanted to find one that really fit my interests and my future goals. Um, but so the School of Industrial Relations is really unique in Cornell because it's one major. So you don't really have to like make a decision on something specific, but it is, I mean, it is very specified and it kind of will allow me to pursue my interest of social justice um, in kind of related to labor and just global social justice. Now, we also mentioned that you competed both soccer and cross country. Uh, do you have a favorite of the two? And what were some of the lessons that you learned that you're going to be able to take with you to the next level? Um, I would have to say that soccer is my favorite just because. I've been playing it since I think I was like six and it was just a really big part of my life. But I mean, both were and both taught me an infinite number of lessons. And I'm so grateful to, you know, my coaches and my teammates that helped me along the way. Um, but I would have to say that cross country specifically taught me really the importance of mental strength. You know, you ask any runners like what to do when your body's failing you and like when your ankle hurts or you feel like you can't breathe and they'll just say, like in order to endure, you have to rely on the strength that is in your mind. Um, so I think I'll definitely carry that with me into my future career and just all aspects of my life. Um, but soccer, I think as a defender, I really, you know, you have the advantage of being able to see the field at a better angle than like a midfielder or a forward. So I think I learned to anticipate the movements of others and kind of read others. Um, so I think I'll definitely carry this skill and it taught me the importance of that. I think I'll definitely carry that with me. Yeah, playing defense in the back of on a, on a soccer squad is a lot like having, you know, playing safety and you've got the whole field in front of you. You got to make decisions. It's a little bit more. It's more proactionary than reactionary, but people don't really give it that credit. So I can see where you would, you know, kind of fall into that as a decision maker yourself. Now, you're a self-proclaimed. Quote master, can you give us your favorite inspirational quote? Yeah, so my favorite inspirational quote is I am building a fire, and every day I train, I add more fuel. At just the right moment, I light the match by Mia Hamm. Um, but yeah, so that's my favorite just because, you know, it shows the importance of work ethic, which is just a huge thing that I preach. 
Um, but yeah, I know <laughs> I'm really into inspirational quotes and I'm fully aware that they're very cheesy, but I hope that like my teammates and the people I share them with are able to just like be affected and inspired by them in the way that I am. Well, that sounds awesome. Is Mia Hamm your favorite player or is, was she somebody that kind of struck you at an early age? Um, I think a little bit of both. I think she's tied with Megan Rapino, but I would have to say that both of them are kind of tied for that. <laughs> Well, we thank you so much, Thaisa. What a wonderful honor, and we thank you so much for joining us today, and congrats again on being named to the Academic All-State team. Thank you so much. All righty. Well, just a reminder, folks, you can catch all of these interviews on the FHSAA uh, Twitter page and their Facebook. We'd like to thank the Florida Dairy Farm Association and the FHSAA for their support. That's all for now. Thank you for joining us.